morning. Okay, is everything right? Is the camera just right on this new little fancy tripod that I bought for it? I hope it is. Nobody panic. Okay, thank goodness. I have finally finished my chores. I have finally finished recording Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I have got everything going. There is a delicious and beautiful carrot cake that Chips and I have prepared today, cooling it down on our stove. We have some homemade cashew vegan cream cheese frosting that is going to be put on top of said carrot cake when it is cool. <sighs> but the world can slow down for a minute. I can sit down with you guys on a vlog and I can be very excited and show off my pin haul because I am so excited to have these pins. I have a little bit of a pin obsession for those of you guys who don't know. And if you have no idea what pins are, they're basically the little metal pins. Like this is our heart pin from our Etsy shop, but they're the little teensy tiny little metal pins. Sometimes they're really big. Sometimes they're a lot smaller. They just come in tons of different designs. I don't know why, but over the last year, I have gotten completely obsessed with them. I wear this one whenever I'm opening snail mail because it has a little snail sitting down on mail. It's from Laughing Bear, who is one of my favorite artists, and they're just cute. <laughs> They're cute and they're easy to collect and they're really good conversation pieces and I love collecting wildlife pens. That's one of my favorite things to do because they make really great conversation pieces and more than once when I'm out with my camera bag that I have my vlog camera and my wildlife camera and my joy journal and stickers to put in my joy journal and I have all of that stuff with me. Sometimes people will see the pins that I have on my camera bag and it'll start up entire conversations about science. It'll start up conversations about the different animals that I know about. It'll start up conversations about environmental movements, veganism, or even being a YouTuber, which is really fun. So yeah, that's kind of my justification for having pins, but I just like them. And people have hobbies, right? <laughs> So recently a whole bunch of the Instagrams that I follow got together and all of the pin creators who like manage those Instagrams were doing a charity second sale. Second pins are pins that like have tiny little bit of little defects, like they have a little bit of dust on them or they're missing a spot that needed to be filled in. And sometimes the pin creators I follow will do a second sell where they sell all of those seconds where they're not like the top quality pins, so they would normally be sold at a discount anyway. And all of the proceeds will go to a charity. And this time around, all of the proceeds from so many of the shops that I have been following and saving my allowance, and yes, I give myself an allowance. <laughs> I think it's an important thing to have a budget as an adult too. So I've been saving my allowance and I was keeping an eye on all of my favorite shops and they all got together and did the second sale, which is why I have a pen haul. And it's really nice to know that the majority of the money that I spent on these pens actually went to the Native American Rights Foundation here in the US to raise money for Native American groups and tribes to be able to draw on those funds and use them for legal fees that they need to help with land ownership or to help with getting more education into their reservations or improving utilities there. And that made me really happy. So they're pens for a good cause. Most of them are wildlife pens. They're from my favorite shops and that means I have to show them off because Chips has no time for this. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what pins are. I've been actually considering doing a little thing on my Instagram where it'll be like seriously pins and I will just start showing off my little pin collection and practicing my photography, having fun, setting them up in different lighting and you know the way book YouTubers will be able to set up all of their books in super fancy settings. I've been thinking about doing that. I've been thinking about doing that. But all right, so I have four pen sets here actually. And the first one is actually part of not the charity sale, but it's actually part of a monthly pen club that I am part of for wildlife pens from Jonathan Woodward Studios. And I'll try to remember to put links in the video description of all these places. They're all independent creators, which I always have a soft spot for because, you know, I was raised by a bunch of females who ran their own businesses as independent artists. So it makes me so happy to be able to turn around as an adult and spend my money on supporting independent artists. That is definitely an awesome thing. But Jonathan Woodward Studio is a man in the UK who makes pens dedicated to 
wildlife and he has amazing books. He has a book called The Way of the Wolf and The Way of the Well and I want to get both of them because they are the art style is just beautiful and here's his little pin for this month, the month of October, I think, because it takes a little bit longer for the Royal Airmail to get to me. But look at how cute this is, and look at the backing card that he has done for this one. So this one is the Starfish in the Monochrome series. He usually does Endangered Species. I love that. Look at the little dots. Gosh, I was really worried that would be a little bit, like, simple. But this is really cute. I like it. I'll have to wear it next time Chips and I go to the beach. And usually I wear them on my backpacks, just for the record. But yeah, I love that. So I do get his every month, and I'll try to gather all of mine up in the future and maybe <laughs> make like an Instagram post or something to show them all off because I just really love his work too. So Jonathan Woodward Studio, highly recommend it. I'm part of his little monthly pen club. If you're in the UK, it's very, very cheap to be able to get his pens, and it supports a really cool guy. I really love seeing all the work he does. All right, <sighs> finally, done my chores. I can enjoy opening these. <sighs> okay, okay. The first one I wanna open is covered in guinea pigs. Is covered in guinea pigs. And this is actually from Nori Studios, which is one of the artists I've been following for a long time because she does guinea pig stuff. And I love guinea pigs. It will still be years before I am able to get Gwendolyn and Catherine and Ginny Pig and invite them into my life. I already have the names picked out. I have been daydreaming about the beautiful pictures I will take of my guinea pigs, but I will not be able to get them for quite a long time. So I try to bide bide my way by looking at really cute guinea pig artwork and look at these look at the washi tape she sealed it with she's got little popcorn and guinea pigs that's so cute that is so ridiculously cute all right let's open it up and let's see what's inside because i actually can't remember i'm pretty sure i got the only guinea pig pin that she had currently in stock but let's see what we have right here from Nori Studios. Oh, it's a mystery. I have no idea. I don't remember. Oh, the backing on this is so cute. Look at the backing. It's got, there you are. Oh, you precious thing. Oh, you absolutely adorable precious thing. Check out this guinea pig pin. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I have been keeping an eye out for that one for so long and I love the backing on it. She has a ton of guinea pig fabric on Spoonflower. <gasps> Yay! And I forgot I got this one too. That's what happens when you have really, really good cheap pens on a fantastic pen cell is you throw a whole bunch of them into the cart. But here we have a black cat with a little teriyaki, or teriyaki, <laughs> with a little, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the bean filled like baked baked fake uh pastry fish that you can get in japan i can't believe i'm blanking on the name on it i'm too excited and then we also have some guinea pig stickers so you can see some really cute guinea pig stickers if you want to get some adorable guinea pig art for the guinea pig lover in your life i highly recommend nori studios she's got some really really cute stuff this is the sticker version of the pen that i just got that pen is so cute i can't wait to share it with chips and I have some little bonus stickers. Look at that. She's got some cute little bonus stickers. And you know how different artists will do the uh, like Inktober and things like that? Often she does that with guinea pigs. So if you too absolutely adore and absolutely love guinea pigs, definitely check her out. I am so excited about that. I have been keeping an eye on this pen for so long, so I'm very happy to have it. One day, Catherine, one day, Gwendolyn, one day, Jenny, just not today or next year, most likely, not until we move into a place that will let us have pets that can come out of cages, uh, which you guys are not normally allowed to do. It's, it's an accident if they get out of their cage. <laughs> But all right, and then the next one I'm actually really excited about. It's from Oplesiosaur, and I have gotten the work from her in the past. Super amazing. I really, really love the art that she does. And she was actually working with another one of my absolute favorite pen authors, Natalie Draws Stuff, who was moving. So Oplesiosaur handled the pen sales for her. And yeah, you can see the cute little Oplesiosaur right there. Itty bitty little thing holding the heart. And I don't quite remember what I got from her either, so. 
I knew I had a haul in there somewhere. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, where to begin? Give me just a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's right, and you can make your own plesiosaur. She has a little postcard where you can make your own plesiosaur as her little, um, like her business card. But this is so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take these out of their little bags so you can see them easier. But I do love the wildlife pens because they help to start conversations with people. Even if just so that I can be like, hey, you see this pen? This is a bird from New Zealand. I wanna tell you all about it and how important New Zealand wildlife is. Focus on the pin. Focus on the pin. It doesn't wanna focus on the pin. It's like, no, there we go. Look at that. This is actually from Natalie Draw's stuff, but Oplesiosaur was helping her sell things because she was moving. And this is a beautiful bird from New Zealand. I don't wanna say it's a Kia because I'm gonna get it wrong. It's probably not a Kia. Uh, it is gorgeous. Look at that. I really love collecting realistic-ish, like nice looking bird pens as well, because I love birds so much. I've actually been thinking about making a really cool sort of like felt frame to put all these pens in that looks like a little jungle so that all of my wildlife pens will look like they're part of a wildlife scene instead of just having them scattered around my room. So that may be an art project I have coming up on the vlog channel in the future. And then, some more of Natalie's work. Let me get this little guy out. But we have got an adorable eye eye. So here we have a very cute little eye eye right over here. Another one that I had been keeping an eye on, no pun intended, from Natalie for quite a while. And I know that Natalie is definitely an artist once she gets settled back in. So you guys will have a chance to actually look at her work too because she just moved to London that you guys will love because here is one of her latest pieces. This is actually a lynx face. So the, the head of a lynx and it comes with a matching skull if you want to get the set. So there is a set where you can get the lynx head and the lynx skull. And I actually have an owl head and an owl skull hiding somewhere in my room that is not part of this pin haul, but I have gotten recently from her that I need to show you guys. But the thing I knew most of you were going to love is this one right here. This is the coveted Lobo pen, which I am so excited to have because this one usually sells out as soon as she puts it up on her shop. Look at how beautiful that is. A beautiful wolf. The head of a wolf, mountains in the background. It's absolutely stunning. I love her art style and I love the way that I can use these now to talk about wildlife. I wear my pen vest when I do zoo crafting streams on the main channel to try to get those conversations up and going. Oh, so beautiful. I'm so excited. And then the other pieces are actually from, they're actually from Oplesiosaur herself, which I think you guys are also going to like because they're really cute. But we have the adorable wandering whale. So a really cute little wandering whale right here. There we go. Look at that. And I fell so in love with that that I had to get her necklace to go with it. So yeah, I ended up getting this necklace as well because it was just, no pun intended, because it's a well, because it was just so beautiful. And apparently lately I've been collecting whale necklaces. I don't know why. I have another really cool one that you guys have probably seen me wear that's blue and gold. Uh, that's quite large, but I just thought this one with the mountains was kind of reminding me of being up in North Carolina a little bit. And I do have a lot of fond memories of that time. So I really, I'm excited to wear this. You'll probably see it in future videos and streams. And I also had to get a competing leaf heart pen that Oplesiosaur has had for quite a while that is now going to complement my leaf heart pen from my Etsy shop that we made in collaboration with Alari. So look at that. This is really cute. Look at that. Beautiful white heart with multiple types of leaves. Of course that's perfect for me. <laughs> And that means I had to get the patch to go with it because this I can put up on my wall or maybe even pin it up on my background right there. So this is really cute too. And I got some free little, little turtle stickers. Those are so adorable. And of course a free gummy, which I think these are vegan so I can go ahead and eat this one. It's kiwi flavored. So that was all the stuff I got from Oplesiosaur with her crossover of Natalie. I'm really, really happy to have all of those pens too. 
everything is so cute and I think that's the other reason I like them they're bright they're colorful they just kind of make my room feel vibrant and happy and the final bag is from shiny Apple Studios another amazing artist who I've been following for so long waiting for the right moment to get her stuff and it finally arrived so let me think I know I got quite a few things from her as well there we go. Okay, give me just a second. I got more than I remember. <laughs> All right, so from Shiny Apple Studios, really beautiful artist. Highly recommend her work. We have Bright, Daring, and Joyful. So this is actually a motto pen. For once, it's not about, doo -doo -doo, if it wants to focus, for once, it is not about wildlife, but I really liked, I like that motto. Bright, daring, and joyful. And I, with winter coming, am really encouraging myself not to get seasonal affective disorder d knocking me down too hard again this year. So that I just saw and it kind of called out to me. Bright, daring, joyful. I think I'm very much a talisman sort of person. If I hold something, if I can physically turn it around in my hands, if I can look at it, it helps me to really focus my attention and thus focus my thoughts, my mood, my emotions. Where we focus our attention affects all of those things. And so I'm really happy to have this to try to focus my attention on that call, to be bright, to be daring, to be joyful. And I'll talk about those kinds of deeper emotions and why I think they're so important in another vlog because that's really changed my life in the past few months, being able to be more daring, being able to experiment with who I really am, being able to be bold about sharing that, being able to just claim joy with both hands. We'll talk about that later, but basically this leapt out to me on a personal level. And then the pieces that I got from her, let me show them off multiple to you because they're kind of a theme. If I can get them out, if I can get them out, Come here, you're so beautiful. I've been waiting for so long. I waited for her to restock these. There we go. We have a cherry blossom. We have a cherry blossom tree and we have a lily of the valley pin. Look at these. A bonsai cherry blossom tree, a beautiful cherry blossom. One of my favorite designs out of all the cherry blossoms I have seen people do. And I even got because it was very cheap and I, I would have gotten the set eventually, but I even got a little, a <laughs> because I was thinking about cute pictures I could take with it, but I even have a little column also because we go to so many museums, I couldn't help myself. Oh, will you ever focus on it? It's so cute, I promise, there we go. But I got a little column because it is so cute and we go to so many museums all the time. I'm in love with a historian, it seemed appropriate. And on the history note, the final pen that I got is this one that I'm actually super excited about. This is a pottery pen that is based on Minoan pottery. So this is actually based on a very famous series of Minoan pots, which are a very, 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 very old ceramic pot that actually exists. So this is like a historical representation that you're looking at here that have these complicated octopus patterns. And the Minoan language actually still has not been translated. So Chips had a lot of interesting things to say about that when I asked, hey, do you know about Minoan octopus pots? And and I got the coolest, coolest rundown of what he actually knows about these, why the Minoan culture is so cool, and now I have a talking point that maybe he could use. <laughs> so those are my pens. Let me see if I can get them all into my hands, because they're beautiful. I love the artists who do it. I love supporting independent artists. Uh, no pun intended, because independent, eh? Eh? <laughs> I love supporting independent artists and I really love being able to show off their work and whoops no my guinea pig come back I love being able to show off their work and I love being able to add to my collection so I have got quite the pinhole here Thank you guys so much for letting me have somebody to express my excitement about it with because poor Chips and his minimalism feels that this is yet more encroaching upon the clutter that he is constantly concerned about in my room. But we're actually going to talk about how I am managing that and building myself a little surprise treasure chest based off of the things I already own 
in another vlog. For now, it is time to go and put the frosting on that delicious carrot cake and set all of these up to take a fun picture to share with you guys. I will do my best to go through and leave links to all of the creators that I mentioned here in the video description because they're all fantastic people. I've been following them on Instagram. I've never met a single one of them, so I don't know like much about them. Just that their art makes me happy. And I think that sometimes that's just one of the best things that art can do, right? It's just to make somebody happy and balance out those emotions in the world a little bit. But alright, look on Instagram uh, probably pretty soon, um, especially after the new year when our traveling is over. I'm probably going to start trying to challenge myself to show off maybe one of my pins a day and see how frighteningly long it takes before they start repeating. <laughs> And maybe I'll look up special themes to see what kind of day it is. Is it going to be some animal holiday? Is it going to be some other kind of holiday? Am I just going to dub it today is plant weekend and here are all my plant pins? Who knows? It's going to be fun. Um, I might do a little seriously pins hashtag as a result. And hopefully I will be able to continue to use my allowance to responsibly grow my collection because there's a lot of good pins out there. If you guys have recommendations, I would actually love to follow up on more people uh, that I can just add into my favorites on Etsy or add into my bookmarks and keep an eye on it really is very rewarding for me even though I'm sure Chips doesn't quite grasp why to support other artists to support independent artists again no pun intended on the pin part but all right you've heard me ramble enough I've got a carrot cake to go eat so thank you very much guys I really I just wanted somebody to share that with <laughs>